Hey there, sorry I haven't made a video in a bit. Um, I actually did get my new pipes in a few days ago, actually. Um, but I just haven't had time to make a video. Uh, so now I'm going to show them off. So the first one I ordered off eBay was, uh, it's a bent, they call it a tomato shape. I've never really seen something like this. Um, I'm not sure what kind of wood it is. It's a totally no-name pipe. All it says on the side is importe. Um, I actually really enjoy it. Um, it's the first pipe I've ever owned that has basically like a screw bit and it's threaded on the inside. Um, now I bought two pipes off of eBay. This was the first one. The second one I bought is this. This one is Briar. Um, it's a Georgetown made in Italy. Uh, it's number 141. Um, it's a pretty big bowl compared to the rest of the pipes I own. Um, I really enjoy smoking it like when I'm golfing and stuff because it lasts a while, it goes out, keeps smoking. Um, the person before me smoked English blends out of it, but it was reamed pretty well. So um, I can pretty much smoke whatever I want out of it. Um, since I'm really only smoking a lot of aromatics right now, I'm trying to keep away from smoking aromatics out of this pipe because I do want to keep it an English pipe, but I have smoked a few times out of it uh, just to really try the pipe. Um, so today I'm going to be smoking the tomato shaped one uh, just because I had smoked this earlier today when I was on the driving range, so it's I got to clean it out and stuff still. Um, I told you before that I had a corn cob pipe. It's your basic Meerschaum, uh, Missouri Meerschaum corn cob. Um, I actually really enjoy it. I find it very comfortable in my mouth. It's really light, which I like. Um, and it smokes really, really well. Um, I have zero complaints about corn cobs. I'm probably going to go buy another one or two. Um, the tobacco I'll be smoking today is, again, a Brigham brand tobacco. Uh, it's made in Toronto. This one is called Peaches and Cream. I have found it in the packages, but it was five grams more for the unpackaged bulk tobacco, so I figured why would I be paying more for a little bit of packaging. Um, I keep most of my stuff in mason jars anyways, but this is almost done, so I don't want to waste a jar on it. Um, I actually really enjoy this tobacco. Um, it was one of the first tobaccos I did get. Um, it's pretty sweet. To the smell, it smells exactly like it says, peaches and cream. Um, it does not smoke like that, but it is still very enjoyable. So I'm gonna pack a bowl now and smoke. And I know I usually use matches now, but I, I left them in my car and I just really don't wanna go get them. So I will be smoking with a lighter today, but normally I use matches. Now a few days ago, I was on the golf course with one of my best friends. Um, who just got back from university. Uh, he's taking some summer school courses, but he's just finishing up now. And uh, I was smoking a blend from Thomas Hines, um, which is a Toronto-based tobacconist. Um, I'm not sure who the blender was or anything. I haven't been able to get information about it. My girlfriend actually picked up the tobacco for me. It's called Topper. Um, it's really sweet. It's kind of a caramel flavor. I really like it. Once I get some more information about it, I'm going to actually go to Thomas Hines tomorrow. Um, once I get some more information about it, I'm going to do a little review on it. Uh, I just really don't know who it's made by or anything, so I don't want to give false information. So anyways, my friend and I were smoking on the golf course, and he had never smoked a pipe before, and he was smoking a cigar. So I let him try some of my pipe and he fell in love with it from his first hope. Um, now he, we went out basically right after we golfed um, to the local tobacconist, the one where I bought my original pipe. And um, he bought a Brigham pipe. 
Um, unfortunately, he's not here right now, so I can't show you his pipe, but it is a very nice pipe. It's a filtered pipe. Um, if you research Brigham pipes, you'll find something like involved with Brigham called the Brigham system. Um, it's something created by Brigham. It's their own filter and their own filter system. It actually smokes amazingly. Uh, he has a level one. It was only $50 Canadian. So for Americans, that's about, I'd say $37, $38. So it's a pretty good deal for a brand new pipe. Um, it's, he got a full bent uh, billiard. Um, it's sandblasted, so it's like that rough texture. It smokes unbelievably well. So over the past week or so, I've been teaching him how to smoke a pipe a little and introducing him to the YouTube community as well. So I really enjoy the peaches and cream. It's pretty sweet to the taste at first. So that's sit in your mouth, circulate a little. It does pick up a very good taste in your mouth. Um, for a first time smoker, this has zero bite to it at all. Um, so it makes it very, very enjoyable. Um, and it's hard to go wrong with the Brigham Peaches and Cream. Um, I have heard a few people tell me it's too sweet for their liking, which I can understand. I happen to enjoy sweeter tobacco. Um, so it wasn't a problem for me at all. So my pipe collection is starting to grow pretty rapidly. I mean, I've only been smoking for a little bit. I've already, I'm already up to four pipes. Um, hopefully, I've been looking on eBay. If anybody can find a bent bulldog um, in the GTA for cheap, or which is a great Toronto area if you're not Canadian, or really anywhere on eBay that will ship to Canada, uh, I'm looking for a buy it now. Um, just because it's easier than having to sit there and try and win an auction. Uh, I don't mind auctions either. Um, I'm looking in the under $30 range, but I would like a nice bent bulldog. Um, it's, it seems to be my favorite shape everywhere I go. I just can't find a bent. And I own this, which is a partial bend. Uh, my Chacon, which I smoked in my first video, is a full bend. Um, and my, Mir my Missouri Mirachon and my Georgetown are both straight. Um, I've really realized I enjoy smoking bent pipes a lot more. Uh, I find them more comfortable in my mouth. I find them more comfortable to hold as well. Unless they're light. If they're light like the Meerschaum, it's quite comfortable. But I find that um, my Georgetown is just very heavy and it's not the easiest thing to hold in my jaw. I can hold it, but not for very long. I also want to give a shout out to WWJ Smoke. Um, we're both metalheads who smoke pipes, so um, go check out his channel. Play some good music in the background. Um, today I don't have music on just because my house is pretty quiet. I'd like to keep it that way. So WWJ Smoke, everybody go check out his channel. Um, one of his funny videos is his pet peeves uh, concerts. I think it's quite funny. Uh, his original video is a tobacco review, which is a joke. Um, that one is also quite funny as well. He only has a couple of videos up, but still entertaining nonetheless. I'll post the link in the left hand side um, so you can go check him out. There's also one question I had. Uh, ben at the smoke shop has a pipe that he calls the Black Prince, and I actually really like that pipe. I'm looking for something very similar. Uh, if anybody knows what brand that pipe is or any model number or anything on it, please let me know. Um, I have contacted Ben, but I understand he's very busy and a lot of people try and ask him questions because he's rather popular on YouTube. Um, so if anybody has any information, just leave a comment below or a video response or just private message me. Um, and if anybody else wants to know after that, I can try and help. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm just going to sit and enjoy my pipe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.